Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got a bunch of stories, starting with Nvidia changing their GTC conference again, the first desktop Ryzen 4000 APU gets benchmarked, the first B550 pictured, Intel going 3 nanometers, and a great deal. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, Nvidia has changed plans for their GTC conference yet again. For those who don't know, they originally moved it to a live webcast because of the thing that shall not be named. And I'm not even going to show the word here, so if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I do apologize, but one of my videos recently got hit really hard, so we'll just have to move on. Regardless, Nvidia changed it to simply issuing a news announcement. Apparently they are still planning to do some live webinars, recorded talks and panels, but the main webcast won't be happening. As far as what to expect news wise, I'm hoping for some new Tesla or Quadra GPUs like the ones we've seen recently based on their next gen architecture, so fingers crossed. Of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for updates when that happens. Next up for today, we have our first desktop Ryzen 4000 APU benchmark. So if anyone was a bit concerned that they didn't hear anything about them at CES, they are apparently coming. Anyway, the benchmark was found and shared by Resident Leaker RO Game, and as you can see, it was done on 3D Mark. Unfortunately, we don't know what APU it is, but you can see that it was done on a Gigabyte B550, so AMD is definitely testing the B550 chipset for those hoping to get a cheaper PCI Express 4.0 board. Either way, the CPU is clocked at 3.5 GHz and the GPU is clocked at 1750 MHz, which suggests we're looking at 8 CUs. As for performance, it looks like the APU got an overall score of just under the 4700U, but of course this is likely a Ryzen 5 variant. Either way, if you were wondering about new APUs based on Zen 2, it looks like AMD hasn't forgotten you. And speaking of that B550 motherboard, Video Cards was able to get their hands on one of the first pictures of one. And no, this isn't the weird OEM only B550A. It is in fact the full board which is set to fully support PCI Express 4.0, and this one in particular is a micro ATX model and comes from Soyo. Soyo. S-O-Y-O. I do not know. Next up for today, it looks like Intel is really ready to get away from 10 nanometers. According to a report by TechNews.tw, a Taiwan-based outlet, Intel is set to move some of their upcoming discrete GPUs over to TSMC. Now, there have been some rumors of Intel using TSMC's 7 nanometer process, but according to this report, Intel is actually looking at their 6 nanometer EUV process. And this is pretty interesting because Intel only recently admitted just how bad the production was for their 10 nanometer process, at least in terms of yield rates, not performance metrics or anything like that. And we know the DG1 is set to be on Intel's 10 nanometer process, but that's a fairly weak GPU. According to technews.tw, the new process is for their more powerful DG2. What's really wild is that according to this, Intel is also set to use TSMC's 3 nanometer process by 2022, so they could be working with them for quite some time. With that said, we know Intel is working on their 7 nanometer process, so they could move things back over when they're ready. Still, I think it shows just how hard of a time Intel has had at getting their 10 nanometer process to scale. And while they may have denied it, that story from a little while back that suggests they'll be skipping 10 nanometers for their desktop CPUs is looking more and more true. Also, according to El Chapuz's Informatico, Intel is increasing the capacity of their 14 nanometer process this year because apparently they're still constrained. Which is of course not too surprising, considering the 9900K is currently over $500 on Newegg. Whoa, 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 whoa. With that said, if you're looking at picking up a high core count CPU, the 3900X at Micro Center just went on sale for below $400. And while Micro Center is a sponsor, I don't actually have to say anything in a video about them, but this is seriously a great deal for AMD's 12 core monster of a CPU. Check that link out in the description below. So while that does it for today, are you ready for AMD's Ryzen 4000 APUs or are you just excited for their 4th gen CPUs based on Zen 3? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.